If you have a large Excel file due to many sheets listed at the bottom, say you have a spreadsheet that tracks historical data month to month, but it's 2022 and you want to get rid of previous year's data, it's a real pain to click on each one, right click, delete, and then press delete for every single sheet, especially if you have like hundreds of sheets and it's slowing down your file, so you need to get rid of these sheets. What you can do is write a macro in Excel to do this. You can go to View tab, go to Macros, Record Macros. You can name it whatever you want. Say Delete Sheets, press OK. Then go back to Macros, Stop Recording. And this will just generate a VBA function for us. So if you click on Delete Sheets, press Edit, you'll open up this editor inside this sub and end sub. So we want to start off by declaring a variable, which we can do by writing dim, and then ws as worksheet. So we're declaring a variable ws, which is of type worksheet. Then what we want to do is do a for each loop, which will go through each ws in the worksheets. It's a loop through every worksheet in, it, in your Excel file. And then what we want to do is we want to delete every sheet before 2022. So delete all sheets that contain 2022. You can do this by using the in str function, which basically searches a variable for a certain substring. So what we want to search is worksheet.name, so the name of the worksheet, and we want to search it for the number or string 2022. And how the function in string works is if it's greater than zero, it means it found the string. It'll tell you which index in the string it is. But if it's equal to zero, that means it's not in the string. So this is what we want. So if 2022 is not in the worksheet name, and then closing bracket, then worksheet.delete. And then end if, and then finish the for loop by going next, ws. And you might be like, this is all we have to do, right? There's one thing we have to watch out for, because if we run this right now, by clicking this play button or F5, You'll notice that every sheet it's going to prompt you for do you want to continue, delete, or cancel, which obviously we don't want to do. I'm just going to press cancel. So you have to do this for every single sheet, which is obviously not practical at all. So what we can do is go application.displayalerts and set that to false. This will turn off any alerts in our application. And then afterwards, we want to turn these back on so that Excel works properly. Display alerts equals to true. Now we can either press play here, or we can save this. Um, actually, we can just minimize, I think. And then go Macros, View Macros, Delete Sheets, and then Run. And as you can see here at the bottom, 
all of the sheets got deleted except for the ones in 2022. 